Hi and welcome to the freelance channel. My name is Florante and in today's video I'm going to show you a quick demo on how to set up your smart LTE pocket Wi-Fi using your ZTE MF93D. So be sure to stick around and watch the full video. Here's the quick tutorial. Alright, well, to get started with the uh, setup of your pocket Wi-Fi, you have to go through 192.168.0.1 and that is your smart LTE's default gateway. And once you are on the login page, the default password is smartbro. Just hit enter. Okay, from here you will see the number of devices that are connected to your pocket Wi-Fi and also as you can see um, you can receive and send text messages from here I've just received a notification that my unlimited LTE registration has expired so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up another LTE unlimited package 50 to uh, demonstrate how the process is when setting up your LTE on your pocket Wi-Fi. So to do that, all I have to do is to click on New. You have to make sure that you have enough credits on your account. So for this one, I'll go ahead and send it to 2200 and just hit Enter. And then I'll go ahead and type LTE 50. Then I'll send. All right, so once you have that sent, you will receive another set of notifications from Smart confirming that you have successfully registered and the expiration of your registration. So for this one, my registration is valid for a day. There's also other options where you can register for 7 days and uh, even uh, 30 days. So that's how you set up and register to Smart's LTE um, for 50 paces only, valid for 1 day or 24 hours. So that's all for our tutorial on Smart LTE's pocket Wi-Fi setup. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them on the comments. You can also visit our website at www.certifiedfreelance.com. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, be sure to click on subscribe. Thank you once again for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Hi and welcome to the Freelance Channel. My name is Florante, and we're here today for some essential tutorials on how you're going to change your password if you're using your globe Wi-Fi router. All right, let's get started. First, you have to make sure that you know your default gateway. You know that number that's 192.168, so you need to be able to know that. It's actually given when your installer comes to your house, they provide you that information. But if you don't have that, well, you don't have to worry, no problem. There's a quick way that we can find out.